Hey, so we're here with our friend Bobby Johns from the Hotel San Jose to talk about some of our favorite things in Austin and the run up to South by Southwest so you can be as prepared as possible uh, going into the festival. Let's talk about just some general things that you wouldn't necessarily think about. Tips. South by yeah. survival tips, absolutely. What do we got? What do you think? Oh, I think that if you found the party, you should stay at that party <laughs> and don't go chasing the party that you heard that someone might be playing at and some of your friends have put you on the list and you the missed party. the good party yeah. and you missed you the good party. just yeah. stay where you are yes don't chase the party is a perfect example um, of quality over quantity it can be so overwhelming the amount of programming panels films and so on just pick a couple of things that you want to make sure you hit that day and just let the rest flow go see some movies uh, this is a film interactive and music festival and the interactive has gotten really huge recently for music has always been huge, but I would hate for that to overshadow the fact that we got one of the best film festivals in the country. Food is a good place to start, and my first suggestion would be Vespaio, which is, is right down the road, right here in South Congress. Gorgeous place. The tuna tartare is sort of a kind of, kind of the go-to classic. I'll put it this way, the first 300 times I ate it, I loved it. <laughs> you're only gonna have a chance to eat it, you know, two or three times while you're here, so I'd highly recommend it. But my rec, uh, Backspace is doing a different kind of pizza, really, than anyone in Austin. It's wood-fired and just beautiful, beautiful crust and pretty creative toppings. Um, it's really close to convention center and a lot of hotels and everything for you know at the conference well i think everything the east side kings are doing they do three different trailers the grackle the liberty and shangri-la so if you're coming from downtown you'd basically just head east on sixth street and uh yeah local spot to support i do think you know we've named a bunch of italian food asian fusion we should at least give a barbecue option uh for my money in a town that produces a lot of high quality barbecue content. Live Oak Barbecue, which is, yeah. uh, it's just phenomenal. The guys who make it, they, they solved brisket. I grew up in Texas, been eating brisket my whole life, and this is correct brisket. <laughs> this is the answer to brisket. So what my, do you got? my recommendation, because you come to Austin, you, you're visiting, you eat barbecue, you eat Mexican, and pretty soon you just need some vegetables and a, and a clean scene. And so Corriente is my recommendation. Uh, it's quick, it's very close to downtown, um, it's also Asian fusion, really delicious and in the, you know, 7 to 11 dollar range. Every place has their, their version of like the local watery beer, but I think that Lone Star um, is a step above your, your, your it's normal... It's the best cheap beer in the world. That's well put. It's yeah. the best cheap beer in the world. Right, you can let's hear it. pay me to drink a Lone Star. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay, what do you got? All right. I am a Shiner man and okay. always have been. That's good stuff. In the summer, I drink Light Blonde and uh, Shandy. If you haven't oh, had this, yes. lemonade and light blonde. So you're kind of hydrating, kind of getting a little vitamin C, and drinking <laughs> beer at the same time. It's really awesome. It's great. So my favorite local brew is Live Oak. It's a uh, guy named Chip uh, McElroy here in the neighborhood uh, makes it, and it's just beautiful. <laughs> the amber, the Hefeweizen, um, it's great, great stuff. I'm drinking a Michelada, which is kind of a, you might not be able to find it north of the Mason-Dixon. Um, I think the best Michelada in town is here at the San Jose, so I'm gonna let Bobby tell you what's in it. Lime juice, Tabasco, salt and pepper, soy, oh, beer. Delicious. It's that easy. It's, so it's like a beautiful seasoning for your beer. It is. I mean, yeah. that's how I think of it. It's like a well-seasoned <laughs> beer. You know? And like, you wouldn't think to season your beer, but I mean, come to Austin and you can oh, season your that's beer. That's wonderful. All right, so we've, we've talked about uh, all of our alcohol intake. Let's talk about how we recover for the next day. Whether it's recovery or otherwise, Barton Springs is a must. It's 68 degrees year round. You can jump in and just feel completely rejuvenated. People say, go see Barton Springs and it'll be a thing and you, you won't ever do it, but do it. You'll feel horrible right up until the moment when you do it and then you'll feel you're so, better. And then you're so glad you did it. Uh, yeah. I like also uh, Buddha's Brew, which is uh, it's a kombucha. It's a 
locally made kombucha. It's not really clear what it is, but but it's very well marketed, and it's got a it's got an intriguing flavor that's repulsive to most. But uh, but it but it <laughs> but does magical too. But it, but it does give you the sense that 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 you're making progress. But I like to take a yoga class. So uh, Black Swan Yoga, it's a donation based yoga studio. Um, they play amazing music. That's one of the greatest things about it. They've, introduced me to a lot of new cool stuff. Well, those things are all well and good, but I suggest go to Bacon. <laughs> it's at 10th and Lamar. It's Bacon Focus, Great Bloody Marys. It's, it's your place. <laughs> Lives up to the name. So if you wake up and you feel like you need to recover, that's... That's pretty good. Bacon. Yeah. A bike, you will move faster than anyone else. Obviously, faster than walking. But you will, you. But I mean, I don't know if you've heard of a bike. Okay, okay. okay. A bike, let me explain wheel. the concept of a bike. Um, I would just Google Austin bike rental. There are a bunch of places around town. You're so good to go. You're flying around. You feel great. The weather's usually awesome. I'm just a big fan of the feet. I mean, just. You know, you can walk. You got some good shoes, and it's a good way to kind of, you know, to see see a lot of the city that you you might gonna pass you by otherwise. Both the Lamar and the South First pedestrian bridges oh, are yeah. great. There's venues during South by at Auditorium Shores and stuff like that. It's it's not that long a walk, and going over the Lamar Bridge, you get really a beautiful view back towards downtown. Absolutely. Austin. So it's a good way to get around town. Or the One M runs right down Congress, oh, that yeah. Capital Metro bus line. It'll take you up and down Congress all day long. So come by South by San Jose, say hi to Bobby. Great music every day from noon to 10. Uh, it'll be, that'll be great. And if you're holding a badge uh, for film or interactive, uh, come say hi to us at one of our panels. Yeah, we'd love uh, to see you. Have a great time. Enjoy. All right, cheers. Were I to be drinking a beer, uh, were the beer that I want to have available, which it is not, I would be drinking. What are you talking about? Start over. <laughs> would that I were. Yeah, I am as well. Okay. <laughs> okay.